Hey everyone. Today we're going to be outlining how to remove the top section here of the Nespresso Virtuo. Um, a lot of people in the comments are having issues with this top side, um, especially the, specifically the um, rotating pod holder here in the middle. So if you haven't watched my other videos, how to remove the bottom part, um, this section here, please do so. Um, I won't be really detailing how to do that here, but just watch that video. It'll be, um, you'll be all good to go. You don't specifically need to remove this part, but for the sake of this video and, um, to be thorough, I, I will be doing it, um, just to show you guys how to manually open this section here. To manually operate the lid here, you're going ha going to have to remove the bottom section here, and you can do that by pulling these pins here. I have this little pry tool here that I like to use for this. Um, to be very gentle. And you're going to pry on these tabs. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you're going to have to pry on these tabs here. There should be one, two, I think four of them. I'm just going to be doing that off camera. But just pry them. And it should, they should just come off like so. This comes off too. If you want to clean that, you can go ahead. And, oh, I just locked the other one in place. But yes, there are four. So in the bottom, there is your motor right there that activates with a little warm gear your lid. And what you're going to have to do is basically just rotate that motor best you can without breaking your machine. Okay, so it turns out that it's rather complicated to do that. Um, it turns out that removing these covers won't really help because the motor is pretty shut, sealed shut in there. And um, it's that golden piece right there. So in the effort to not break this machine, because it, it is fully functional, I'm not going to toy with that, but what you can do is after successfully removing this part, you can um, try to pry on these white pieces, make them go up and down to see if they allow you to open it, open the lid, but let's get on with the main focus of this video, and that's removing this top part here, the lid. So basically to remove the top side, if you look underneath the machine, there are many little tabs surrounding this lid. And the idea is you have to pry on those tabs to get them loose. And if I remember correctly, it's kind of an upward motion uh, so you could, so for you to pry. It would help to plug in the machine and close the lid momentarily. Because when you do that, you're able to remove this hook here. There's a hook here that you can remove 
so you can make removal of the lid cover a lot easier. Just pry that out and you're going to open up the machine just like that. And I believe that's 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 probably another trick for people that are having issues with removing the pod. But <clears throat> I'll let you be the judge. So once you have that figured out, move these things sideways. Side of them. Once you have all that figured out, unplug your machine and you're going to have to, like I said, pry at the sides here of, of that cover just to see if you can spot the, the pins that hold it down. I'm just trying to get a closer look here. So Nespresso really likes to use a lot of sliding motion. Oh, by the way, you can do that when you, when you remove the cover, you can take it out of alignment. So if that could help you guys with the issue, see that I am not, it's really these white strips that hold it down. So if you want to use that as a way to um, remove your locked capsule top part there, you can. So there you go. I had a feeling there was a way, I just couldn't really put my finger on it. So that comes up like that. So that fixes some of your your guys' problem there. Um, so let's try to remove this lid up here. Make sure not to ruin this micro switch right there. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to. Yeah, it's really just a trick of prying at the right spots. You guys can see that coming up right, right there and then you just want to use a kind of upwards but at the same time sliding motion forwards like that I know if you guys are able to see that I don't think I broke anything but basically when you have the machine like this oops, sorry about that Basically that goes on like that, from the front that is. I'm just gonna try to put it down a little bit. Basically it's like that, you pry from the back here, give it a little bit of opening, and then you wanna push, you wanna do like a push up from here, and you kinda just pull it up like that. And then obviously not try not to break it. And there you have it, the cover is off. Now here's the thing that I was referring to in the comments with you guys, is that this part here is its own assembly. So there's not really much play here. So if your machine is broken and these, this ring here is worn out, um, you're probably going to have to either find a way to replace this, this part right here, or, um, get a new assembly for the top. So if you can find a used Nespresso that has um, these parts that you can remove and salvage them, by all means do that. But again, I don't know if I recommend it simply because the Nespresso, the used one, will probably have the same issue. So that's pretty much how to remove that cover I don't want to get into removing the top side here where all the electronics are at just because, like I said, this is a functioning red espresso and I really don't want to break it. Um, always remember to descale your machine, but as you can see here, this machine is pretty pretty clean. You can see all the, the tubes with the 
that feed the water. Um, but this is a, probably a good way to get your machine to, um, if it's locked up, you can try to remove the top here. I guess that locks it up right there. If it's locked up right there, I don't know why, but this thing just won't let me open it. It is very secure, I'll, I do have to say that. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if there's any loopholes here with prying the top half off. It's really snug in there. I'm sorry to all the viewers there that were hoping to get their locked top off um, but there is really it's really tight I don't want to push anything that might break it but this is your your saving grace right here if you can get this motor spinning you will open up the top um, and make sure nothing is jammed there sometimes I don't know coffee old coffee can get really get jammed in that motor and there is these one, two, three, four, five, six hex uh, torque screws that you can remove. I'm just not going to because, like I said, this is a function machine and I don't want to, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to show you a quick um, reinstall just to kind of get you guys familiarized on how to remove it. Like I said, there are one tab here two tab there and the rest kind of just slide in locking together just be careful when reinstalling that you get the front end first and get it aligned because last time i did this the the switch here was getting caught on the um the, the divot here so just be mindful of that <clears throat> again this use, uses time to clean any coffee spills you might have on it and uh, yeah so let's do this try to get a better angle here for you so you want to start with the front first just like that see how that clicked in and you want to push towards the back so it's nice and flush make sure that I think that's fine but we'll see during operation let's see here seems good to me let's put this put that back in there It's pretty good. Let me show you guys show you how the motor works there. I don't know if you can see that well, very well. But when I press the lid close button. Hopefully you guys can see that. See it rotating right there. So that's your lid motor. Be careful, things get really hot in this machine when it's on. That's where the, this is the water heater right there. That gray piece right there is a water heater. It gets really hot, so be careful, don't burn your hands. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It gives you a little bit more of a uh, clear picture of what's going on in your machine so you can better um, try to fix it yourself. But again, like I said in the comments, sometimes it's just worth to waiting out for these really nice deals and Nespresso has. Uh, you get this machine for like a hundred bucks. Um, I know it sucks dishing out a little bit more money for something that was already expensive, but at the end of the day, they have a great warranty program. So if you can break it in a year, you can get another one for free. So thanks guys for all your comments. I really appreciate it. It kind of gets me um, more involved with this machine. So, but 
be sure that when this breaks, I will be doing a full teardown. Um, so thanks for all your comments. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'll be glad to help.